With his formidable presence, intense gaze and fiery energy, Russell Crowe has produced an impressive body of work, leaving no doubt that he is one of the most powerful and gifted actors of his generation. Affectionately nicknamed Rusty, us Aussies like to claim him as our own, but he was actually born in Wellington, New Zealand. When he was four, his parents moved to Sydney and worked as caterers on film sets. They often took Russell with them to work, which gave him a great understanding of what making movies was all about. If you went to the cinema, you enjoyed the experience, you know, you got wrapped up in the story. That's what it's supposed to be about, right? It turns out that Russ didn't always want to be a film star. At 16, he dropped out of school, took on the stage name Russ LaRock, and played in bands until he was 21. Ironically, his first single was called I Just Want to Be Like Marlon Brando. And true to his word, after limited musical success, he decided to pursue acting. A natural, he landed roles on the TV shows Neighbours and Police Rescue, and appeared in the films The Crossing and Proof. His first big break came as the leader of a neo-Nazi gang in the confronting Romper Stomper. His chilling and menacing performance won him an AFI award for Best Actor. Pretty good for a guy who's had no formal acting training. I've never been a tertiary educated performer, you know, and that is what method implies to me. I mean, that's what it all began with. It was like going to a school to learn somebody else's technique of how to be an actor, you know what I mean? Some Russian fellow, what's his name again? Boris something? No. Um, you know, who cares? I mean, acting is an instinctive talent. You either you, you can do it or you can't do it. His success in Romper Stomper led Russ straight to Hollywood. After seeing the film, Sharon Stone cast him in The Quick and the Dead, which led to roles in the sci-fi thriller Virtuosity and LA Confidential. Then in 2000, Russ scored his first Oscar nomination for The Insider, cementing his status as a leading man. For me, there's not a better job. This is the, so this is the job I do, you know. I, it's only entertainment, and is it important in the scheme of things? Probably not. But um, I would rather be entertained by somebody who has put a lot of effort into entertaining me. Same way as I'd rather be entertained, you know, I'd rather be you know, operated on by a doctor who's concentrating on what they're doing too, you know. Who can forget Russell as the mighty Maximus seeking revenge in the epic blockbuster Gladiator, my favourite Russ movie. Playing such a heroic and passionate character, glory on the battlefield led to Oscar glory when he won the Best Actor Academy Award for his incredibly intense performance. And Russ certainly worked hard for it. Apart from the physicality of Gladiator, there was also the slight problem that we didn't have a script. So um, the journey in terms of the complete journey for me was just as cerebral. Big screen success led to constant media attention, a part of the job Russell does not enjoy. The actual job is very simple and I, I enjoy that. You know, sitting in a room doing conversation after conversation with journalists about the same subject matter and answering the same question, that is when it gets paid. That's, you know, truly, I think, uh, damaging to your brain. Often depicted in the media as a difficult character, Russell became very frustrated and protective of his privacy. The press is the painful process. I mean, a lot of the stuff that I say, apparently, I've never said, so... Therefore, that gives licence to the, the um, parasites to fill in the blanks, you know, and just make it up. Now an Oscar-winning A-list star, Russell had the pick of all the big blockbusters. Preferring to take on roles that interested and challenged him as an actor, he chose to play John Nash, a mathematical genius battling schizophrenia in a beautiful mind. The main social uh, misunderstanding is that schizophrenia is about a split personality. Um, for example, Jim Carrey's movie, Me, Myself, Irene, you know, which is... <laughs> great performance, but uh, not accurate to the disease. It really is about different planes of reality, so I suppose in terms of being um, an actor, it is quite close um, in that you have the physical reality and then you have you know, a world that's only existent on an imagined plane. Although acting is Russell's biggest passion, his love of singing hasn't disappeared. In 1992, he formed the band 30 Odd Foot of Grunts, which unfortunately never really took off. But he's continued to dabble in music, collaborating with Alan Doyle from Great Big C and forming another band, The Ordinary Fear of God. Considered by many to have a feisty temper, Russell has gotten himself in the occasional scuffle, most notably in 2005, when he was arrested and charged for assault after throwing a phone at a New York hotel employee. 
but he put his fighting spirit to better use while also showing a gentler side in 2005's Cinderella Man, the true rags to riches comeback story of the struggling American heavyweight boxer Jim Braddock. He was simply a working class man and that's the way he saw himself and, and when you're from that background you can have great success um, and the people that, that elevate you to that success in a way um, enjoy your success but at the same time I think Braddock always knew that he had a, a duty or to remain who he was um, before he was a champion and when he was a champion after he was a champion and uh, that really comes through in the way he lived his life and I, I really liked the way he um, you know, loved his, his wife until the day he died and, and died in the house he'd bought from the winnings of uh, the heavyweight championship fight and how he'd watched his children grow up and, and his grandchildren being born. A sports fanatic, he's the co-owner of his beloved NRL team, the South Sydney Rabbitohs. And in 2005, he advertised Cinderella Man on their jerseys, making them the first team in Australia to be sponsored by a film. Despite his many passions, acting, singing and sport, Russell says his number one priority is his wife, Danielle Spencer, who he met on the set of The Crossing back in 1990, and their two gorgeous sons, Charles and Tennyson. On the big screen, Russ kept busy with roles in the Western 310 to Yuma, the action drama American Gangster and thriller Body of Lies. Crow also starred in State of Play as a journalist, a profession he usually dislikes. One of the things that I said to Kevin McDonald right at the beginning of the, of the process was if you expect me to play a journalist as a hero, then you're talking to the wrong person. But I'm perfectly prepared to play a journalist as a human being and with all the faults and foibles and quirks that any of us have. And uh, he was happy enough with that interpretation, so that's what we did. Although playing a reporter didn't come naturally, Russ didn't find that preparing for the role took too much effort. You can spend months quietly contemplating something, or you can tell me what the character is and I'll just do it for you now. You know, I mean, that's the, the job. You need to be fluid like that and you need, you know, um, if, uh, if you have to cry and the click of your fingers, then you cry. If you have to laugh, you laugh. You know, it's just it's acting and it's all pretend. Now, if you spend a lot of time contemplating, a lot of time constructing, you can usually be at a deeper place when you begin. But at the same time, you know, I rely on the fact that I've done this job since I was six years old and I know what it contains and what I need to do. And so I just get about doing that. Next, Russ teamed up again with director Ridley Scott, this time as the legendary Robin Hood. Together they reworked this classic tale, showing us the man behind the myth who inspired others to take charge of their own destiny. There's no denying Russ's ability to deliver a memorable performance on the big screen. And this talent was acknowledged recently when he received one of the film world's biggest honours, a star on the famous Hollywood Walk of Fame. An Oscar-winning actor, passionate performer and dedicated family man, Russell Crowe is a formidable talent. Through his many emotional performances, he has proved himself one of the most gifted actors of his generation and a force to be reckoned with. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all of the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcasting glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's all together better on screen and at mnc.tv.